hurricane season though is here. So is JD's hurricane gear test. Oh yes, he'll be bringing us ideas for our hurricane kits all mm -hmm. season long. So tell us what you have for us today, JD. Well, I tell you what, we've got a whole kit. As a matter of fact, this is a great example of a go bag where you can just pick it up and take everything you need with you for an evacuation. The company is called Ultra Prep, and they're a fairly new company. They're out of Beaumont, so it's kind of a local. At least Texas uh, is where the company that where it comes from. And the name of this kit is their Urban Evacuation situation pack and I like that term urban because I think that's what most of us are really going to be dealing with is a very urban situation if we're trying to evacuate uh, for any sort of a tropical system that might be headed our directions. So this is a very durable backpack. What we're going to do this morning is a little bit different since this is a pretty in, a pretty detailed item. We're going to go ahead and take three different segments of our morning this morning. Each hour, the next three hours, we're going to take a look at a different part of this particular go bag. And again, we'll start with a look at um, um, the emergency side of things, uh, it has a trauma kit that is built in. So not just a first aid kit, they call it a trauma kit. So I always like to see a four different things when I look for a hurricane preparedness kit. I want to see food and water. I want to see uh, a way to charge your cell phone and I want to see a light. And we're going to see that here. Uh, I mean, we're also going to see some other important things. Like I said, this first aid kit, for example, is a, one of those examples and it is a fairly comprehensive one. There's some other things in there as well that will be very nice as far as keeping you ready. This is going to be some insect repellent uh, as well as uh, some antibacterial cream. You've got some lip balm and they've got some little swabs. So a lot of little neat detailed things that are thrown in here. But some people, of course, need a few more more modern type things, some electronics. We've talked about the fact that it's very important to keep your cell phone charged. I also mentioned the fact that there's some lighting. So this little compartment here, I'm going to call it the electronics is where those are stored. This is very important. We've got a solar battery that you can hook up uh, to a USB port uh, for. And so this is going to be great where you can continue to power some items. It also has a light that's built in on the back of it. You also have a light stick in itself so that you can go ahead and provide your own light if you need it. This flashlight itself even has a way that you can plug in that cell phone. You also have a headlamp. I won't put that one on today, but I've been known to put it on before. And of course, as I mentioned, that importantness of being able to charge your cell phone. As I mentioned, you could do that to the light stick. You also have on the side here of this uh, battery charger, two USB ports so that you can plug your cell phone in there and make sure that you're getting that charge because you're going to want that cell phone. I think it's going to work for you. So. What's the bottom line on this particular go bag? Well, as I mentioned, we've only looking at a, looked at a very small portion of this bag. We're going to have two more times that we look at this bag throughout the rest of the morning. I'll be able to give you some more details, but I do give it already a cat four out of a possible five on my hurricane kit priority scale. And you probably want to know how much does it cost that it, does it cost? I'm going to make you wait for that information. Aww. Seven o'clock hour. We'll talk about the price. Plus, we'll look at the food and water uh, and get some a better close look at those hurricane preparations coming up. Well, at least you're not going to make us wait too long and we will mm. wait for it, JD. As hurricane season rolls on, so do our hurricane gear tests. So we want to keep you safe and get you storm ready. JD's back with a unique pack. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. We've we been playing at, with all this. Stuff. I, it's I know cool. this is a go bag. It's from Ultra Prep is the name of the company. They're uh -huh. uh, they're out of Beaumont, so they're kind of local um, and this is their urban evacuation pack. I really like the, what they've put together here. Mm -hmm. We've already looked at the sort of the electronics and some of the first aid mm -hmm. kit and things in the six o'clock hour. Now we're going to be talking about food and water is what we're going to talk about now. And then even later in the eight o'clock hour, we're going to look at some other components. So, so there's so much stuff we got to kind of yeah. divide it up okay. and look at it a little bit. So food and water. What I really like about uh, the food options is there's quite a variety. There's dried food mm -hmm. and then there's some ration bars, which are quite common. Uh, and then there's also just some old school energy energy bars that are mm -hmm. kind of thrown in here and they include a little stove that has it's a gas powered Look stove a little That's gas can neat. there a little yeah. uh, gas and, and stove in mm -hmm. a little cup and a bowl so you're ready to go as far as food with a lot of different options uh, also the water has more than one option to begin with you're going to have this uh, liter of water I think it's a liter maybe I mm -hmm. should have looked this over a little bit um, yeah one liter of water uh, that comes in this plastic container That's a 25 year shelf life so that's going to be kept mm -hmm. around a while but the backpack itself 
itself has a bladder in it, like you've seen the backpacks sure. that have these bladders in it. Mm -hmm. This one um, has not just the bladder in it, but it, you can see it right here. It also has a filter on it. Oh, nice. So even if you come across some water that you're not exactly sure how safe it is, you could still put it in the bladder and you could filter it oh, and you would have some clean water. This filter is 120 gallons before it would need to be changed. Mm -hmm. And you can even remove this completely and use this like a straw if you if you get to that point. Yeah. So that filter has a lot of cool, cool a big aspects deal to it. At a time when water gets very uncertain during a storm like totally. that because water supplies get compromised. And and so, like your dehydrated food, you got to have yeah. water with that too. So how does this come out? So yeah, it's, it's a little bit different. I, I've got actually an example. They actually sent me two of the bladders. So this uh -huh. is this is what's inside the backpack. But what's different is on this strap here. Not only do you have what you would normally suck out of to get your water, mm -hmm. you have a little pump that's right here, and you see it on the strap, and mm -hmm. we see it here. So I'm gonna let me pump this up. It puts pressure in here. Mm -hmm. And remember, normally you would have the filter. This one didn't have the sure. filter on it. So yeah, I'm gonna turn it on. I think mm -hmm. it's off right now. And then so once you build that up you can actually squeeze that instead mm -hmm. of with instead of using your teeth oh, yeah. and there you see how the water comes out mm -hmm. so have you ever been with someone and their water ran out but yours didn't yeah. and you're like I, I don't really want to give you that <laughs> now you I can squirt you that <laughs> and it's exactly filter, so right. I know it was and safe that you put this from the toilet total, no, total. I'm just kidding or what if you have a cut on your hand? You need yeah. to wash it off. Sort of the Voila. sort of the, uh, clean you up. Sort of the sort of the same scenario <laughs> Don't there. Do so any favors, right? This is this is a, a kind of a new thing that I haven't seen before, where you use pressure to kind of run, run through there. Have a lot of fun with it. I if know. anyone looks sleepy in the studio, <laughs> we got you covered. All right, all right. So let's look at the bottom line here <laughs> on this uh, uh, ultra prep. Uh, urban evacuation pack. I promise I'd tell you the price on this pack on this mm -hmm. seven o'clock hour. This is a bit pricey at six hundred and ninety five dollars. Wow. It's very extensive. I did give it a cat four because I think they put a lot of quality products in here. Again, it's pretty uh, uh, it's pretty expensive, but they do make some less expensive ones. This is one of their mid level packs. They tell me so they've got some a little more. They got some a little less, uh, but all the ingredients that I look for in a Hurricane kit are in there and we even have more to show you. So during the eight o'clock hour, we're going to look at some of the other things that are in there for specifically shelter uh, and some other items that will kind of help keep you more comfortable during an evacuation. All right, on today's Hurricane Gear Test, we've actually been looking at this go bag all morning long. We've had a couple different segments where we've looked at some different components to it. This is the Ultra Prep is the name of the company, and this is their urban evacuation pack. Earlier in the six o'clock hour, we looked at some of the electronic components that are a part of this pack, uh, and that included a cell phone charger, a light. I did not have a chance to point out that it has an electric lighter that is also a part of that. So uh, if you need to build a fire or light something, you're good to go. There. Also, we talked about food in the seven o'clock hour, so they've got a variety of food that's in this particular bag with the dried food, some uh, ration bars, as well as some energy bars, a gas stove to kind of get that heat up. Lots of water options that we talked about as well. And today we're now we're going to get a chance to look at some other. Now, don't worry if you missed the other segments earlier. All this will be on my Facebook page by the end of the day. And again, these this is sort of the odds and ends that I wanted to talk about, or maybe we could look at it more just as some comfort items that we have in here. It's very very well organized, but I'm going to kind of lose some of that right now. You got a pair of work gloves. You have a microfiber towel, so that's something you're going to be able to use and dry off quite quickly. There's some rope that's in here. Uh, a 24 hour hygiene kit that would include a razor and some toothbrush and some shampoo, deodorant, that kind of things as, as well. Have some body wipes if you're not going to be able to take a shower. And this is what I really want to spend just a minute to talk about is this is a, uh, a three in one uh, all per multi purpose. Um, it's a tent, not really a tent. I should call it a bivy, uh, a blanket. It also will serve as a blanket. Uh, it'll also serve as a, a rain per, a jacket as well if you wrap this around you. So inside of here, uh, it would basically be um, a bivy is like a cover that you would put over a sleeping bag uh, and it's got a reflective side to it and it's very durable. So that's going to keep you warm or it's going to keep the sun out against you if you're trying to protect yourself. It's got these loops on it so you can easily create like a tent out of it or you can just kind of wrap yourself up in it. So this is a really neat item that they've included into here um, that is again multi-purpose and I think that's the key for a lot of these items that you want in a go bag like this is you want to be able to do more than one thing with it so this particular item you can use it as a bivy you can use it as a blanket uh, and you can also even make it like a tent out of it and I would even say you could use it as almost a rain jacket so a lot of different uses there uh, same thing with a lot of these other items they have multi-purposes the flashlight that comes in this kit 
also you can charge your cell phone off of it. It's a power bank as well as a flashlight. So a lot of options there. So let's get to the bottom line on the ultra prep evacuation urban evacuation pack. I give it a cat four out of a possible five. It is expensive. This particular kit costs six hundred and ninety five dollars. This is one of their mid level kits, and so they have some that are a little more. They have some that are a little less, but uh, there are some quality items in here, and it really meets all the needs that I think you need to find. The minima I always say is water and food. You need to have a way to light uh, you need a flashlight. You need to have a way to charge your cell phone, and it's great. Also, this has a great first aid kit that's also included.